Hey everybody, it's me again, Kale, here once more about to start a new adventure in a slightly more obscure series than that of Final Fantasy, but, none, but one that I still love all the same, Breath of Fire 3. I've already played 1 and 2 on this channel, if you haven't watched them. Uh, you don't really need to, I would recommend it, but you don't need to, because while the timeline is consistent, each story takes place far enough in the future that there's really just, like, vague references and kind of an overarching plot. But they're all pretty exclusive from one another in the majority of their plot. So you can just slide in right here, and it should be fine. But if you got time and want to give me views, feel free to catch up. Uh... <clears throat> Dragon? I don't understand. As we get introduced to the world via a pair of miners. Come on! It's real high quality stuff. Making their way deeper into the Duin mines in order to. When magical beings die, their bodies slowly transform into an ore known as Jisim. I can't remember how important this little bit of lore actually is, but. Eh. The dragons tried to destroy the world. Yep. Fought a huge war. The war. I sure wouldn't want to meet a dragon. I don't know. Dragons are pretty cool. Yeah. But they're extinct now. You're safe, little buddy. <laughs> Ain't no dragon gonna burn you alive. That was weirdly specific. Even the legendary dragons, whose might shook the world, have in death become a source of energy in the form of Chrissium. Chrissum? Chrissum. Now, even the baddest beast Dies in the end like everyone else. Oof. No one knows how or why the mighty dragons became extinct. They fought a lot of wars! A lot of wars that tried to, you know, downplay their existence or pit them against one another. Depending upon which game you're playing. Ugh, I really hope that's not the dragon from 2, because that one was, uh, you know, kind of protecting the world from, a uh, siege of demons. Ah, that's probably fine. This tale is dedicated to the dragons. And it is from there, we start back up. Return to the title card. And begin our new adventure in earnest. It was just a little dip into 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 the world setting, you know. It's, it, like I appreciate a, a good RPG that like sets up with a, a big sweeping animatic where you get to see the characters doing cool stuff and little glimpses of of uh, things to come. Looking at you, Tail series, much love. Uh, but just having like a little vignette opening, kind of describing facets of the world that are important to proceedings it's that's nice too that, it's quite nice anyway uh here's our main character um his default name is ryu just like all the other ryus that came before him uh if you know anything about the breath of fire series pretty indicative And since he's got a default name, I'm going to use a default name. Because I respect lore. Oh. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't read super fast. We might as well get the message on the board so I don't fumble over the scrolling. Uh... Hmm. 
I kind of like the darker too. Oh. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Exposed wood, uh, brick pattern, like castle, forest. I'm I'm thinking castle. Castle looks good to me. Now it's a stereo. Auto run on. Speak. I assume that's like the the, the toggle run slash walk button. Actions menu. I mean that that all looks good to me. Yeah, we're just okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just get into it. Come on, y'all. Let's go on an adventure with dragons. <gasps> oh, it's a baby. Hi, right, explosives are set. What is this, an egg or something? You see ones like this every so often. I'll be. Come on, get to work. Set up here and then a wire and then uh, fire in the hole. It was a weird debt charge. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's still moving. Oh, he's a little guy. What? It, it's still alive? Uh, whoa! Uh, rude! Oh! Oh, it's me! I the dragon! Well, time to torch him! <laughs> bah! I should have hated your foreshadowing. But I'm a dragon. Oh! I loot them. Got a melted belt. Look at me. I'm a dragon. Where am I going? Baby dragon on the loose. Let's go. Yeah, so Mogu and Gary are, they're not important. Uh. Uh. Dragon! Alive? Are you really a dragon? Sure fucking am! <laughs> a dragon! He seemed nice. There's noisy out there. I wonder what's going on. Well, I'm just gonna sit here, keep quarrying my stone. Oh. I'm not afraid. Let's get it. Hi. You guys want to be friends? Ow. Bitch. Bah. Okay, that one was justified self-defense. So was the first one. They, they did throw something at me. Mmm, barbecue. Don't hurt me. Okay. You don't want to eat me? I don't taste good. I'll take your word for it. I want my pants. Oh, God. Yep, I'm out. Don't breathe fire on me! Now I am in charge of the mines. Get to work, mortals. Oh, I can't take the book. Damn. Alright, it's fine. Shut 
shouldn't be taking up dead bodies. You know what? That's probably just good advice. Let's get off fossil fuels, everybody. The fossils might come to life and hurt us. It's here! Are you guys gonna be responsible with those? Dick! I have given them every opportunity to be responsible with their digging equipment. Oh, so nothing down here? Oh, damn, I, I just... Oh. oh no! It found me! It's over! I'm done for! No, you get to live, sir. I didn't realize there's somebody down there. He is well hidden. Well, I did murder those two guys for no reason. Hmm. Such is life as a baby dragon! Hi! Somebody! Somebody help! Why is everybody so scared? I'm just a baby dragon. Is it because I murdered your friends? Well, they started it. Kept throwing things at me. Trying to hit me with shovels. Meanwhile, I'm over here just trying to make friends. What's about a dragon? Mm -hmm. What's about a dragon? Well, well, well. Let's take it live. Oh, please. You're not taking me alive. Zero. Nice. Bugger. No. Don't. Mom? Take that! Bonk. Ow. I got hurt. No. I was trying to have a conversation with what I assume to be my mom. You know, the corpse you're mining. You dicks. This cage can't hold me. I will escape. I have big adventures. Cedar Woods. Uh, Who's this sharply dressed fellow? Ah, uh, uh, oh, guy fucking saw me. Damn it. How can I make chances like that? Almost had it. Come on, it's making that racket. Oh no! Step away from the underclothed child. We gotta change that quick, guys. Oh, brother. This is just what I need. Bad dog! I'll teach you to scare off my dinner. You too! I 
might you be? An orphan? Look at those cars didn't chew to pieces. food to feed you anyway. Even if I did take you home. Mommy. God. God. Fine. Curse my responsible older brother attitude. Uncle Ray will take you home. You better appreciate that. I wonder. What are you doing out there all by yourself? Not a strip of clothing. It's almost like you were just born. Like from a giant crystal egg or something. That was weirdly detailed. Ray. Ray? No, Ray. I'm hungry. He's home! Hi, Ray! Welcome home! Is that dinner? Why, oh, you'll eat anything. Won't you, Tipo? Who's that? <laughs> Fuck if I know! Let's get into your bed. Alright. Who is he? Told you. Oh no. I'm in the woods. Really? I like what happened with me. Another orphan. Not surprising. It's been a lean year. Well, I'm asleep. We'll go to the village. We don't get some food soon. Somebody abandoned him. Just like me. Uh... Don't you see, Ryu? You're the same as me. You must understand. They're weak, pitiful, and pathetic. Father? Oh! Getting a lot of mystery all, all in one episode. Ryu. Why, Ryu. Ryu. Uh, uh, uh. They didn't have something smaller? Well, better than nothing, I guess. Is this a save book? Yes. Thank you. Well, yeah, I'm trying to make a save file. Good. Good. No. Okay, that doesn't help. How about in here? What's over here? Oh. Back entrance. Fun. It's a weird little fort that Ray and Tipo have. A worm! 
arm! Oh my god. That's right. This game also has fishing. For those who didn't watch my Breath of Fire 2 playthrough, I'm mildly obsessed with fishing in Breath of Fire games. But only a little. Can I not go into their storage room? But, but what if they have stuff I want? I don't even have a menu yet, I think. Oh. I can, like, look around at things. That's a weird mechanic. I saw the camera move briefly. What the hell was that about? Oh. Oh. Can't rotate completely because, you know, we gotta maintain that isometric view. That's fun. Can't just do that anywhere. That's probably used to, like, glean secrets and stuff. Gotta say, the fort's pretty well defended. Also, Ryu has no self-preservation instinct. Okay, big slime. Monsters hanging out in the forest. Wearing a big baggy shirt and very little else and just kind of disregarding all measures of safety and wandering around. More or less defenseless. I'm smart. Hey, my cage. I'm gonna go back into cage. It's familiar there. Maybe it'll take me back home. Oh, sick, an apple! At least I'm not starving. <laughs> not about Ray and Tipo, but Ryu's good. Where the hell am I going? Looks like something's supposed to happen by now. Oh, sign. Protect our forests. Don't kick, punch, or bite, or hurt the trees. Got very specific. I'm gonna punch the tree. I'll make things happen. Dang. Oh well. I just wander around till something. Ooh, a, a town or a house, at the very least. Can I get to the house? If I circle around this way, nope. There's a woods guy! Well, I want to see if I can go talk to him. He seems well learned. Word of advice, kids, don't talk to strangers. Especially not weird woodsmen. Might be a nice guy, but why take the chance? Always have at least somebody else with you that you can trust. Unless you're alone, in which case, I can't help you. Hey, kid. Run around like that, and your life will get eaten up. Dog or something. Yeah, I narrowly avoided that fate already. You thought I was unconscious, but I was kind of there. Don't litter. Just good life advice, honestly. All well, this overworld theme's kind of jazzy. That's nice. Where the hell am I going? Oh, a town! I'm doing a lot of exploring for a kid that doesn't have a sword yet. A guide? Oh. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, that's nice. I really use a sword. McNeil! Mayor McNeil's tenants, tenant farmers live. Oh, I can't go down there yet. Oh, dang it. Alright, guess we we'll go to McNeil. Oh, 
necessarily call the the Breath of Fire series a iconic music uh, game, but uh, it's very nicely jazzy. Out of my house, you punks! Oh, I'm sorry, that was a, that was a lady. Ha <laughs> You'll never catch me! That's no use, right? Everyone's watching out for us. <sighs> Nobody's got much food. <sighs> oh, that poor harvest and all. Hi, Tipo, look at this! Uh... Hey, you finally woke up, huh? That beat all. I got another mouth to feed. What if we get him to help us, Ray? Good idea. Let's turn him to a life of crime. What? <laughs> we need to get him out of his pajamas first. Come on. Get you fixed up with some equipment. You guys could barely afford to eat. How are you going to... Alright. Maybe they know a guy. <laughs> yeah, I know a guy to rob! <laughs> so first thing I do when I wake up is murder a bunch of miners. Nearly get sold into slavery. And then free myself only to turn to a life of crime. Our heroes, ladies and gentlemen! And that's how Breath of Fire 3 starts out. Uh, and we'll continue it next time. Hope you're all enjoying yourselves as much as I am about to. And am. Slow start. But it does get better. And if you are, let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll come back next time and rob a blacksmith, I guess. You know. Because it's always smart to rob the guy with the swords. They seem to know what they're doing. I'm going to trust them. But till then... You'll have yourselves a frab just day. I'll see you next adventure. Later.